we are on our way down to the Western Bike Night and I've got a new bit of kit on the bike. It is the Insta360. No, it's not. I've got that already. That's this one. I have got the DJI Action 4 which uh, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully integrates perfectly with the microphone that came with the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. So um, I've got that microphone inside my helmet right now. And from what I can see, it seems to be recording just fine, if a little bit loud. I would say that's a little bit loud, it's peaking a little bit. As you saw from my last video, I managed to smash my GoPro, put my visor down, I managed to smash my GoPro on the way back from the last ride, um, which in all honesty, I wasn't that upset about because that thing has just been a nightmare. On the trip down to Turkey and the way back, I probably had to do three or four like battery pools every day because it just froze up all the time. And when you just wanted to ride and record some stuff, you really don't want that hassle, but it was such a pain. So when I smashed it the other day, I wasn't too upset about it. And I have ordered a replacement screen because it is a really decent bit of kit but I'm really happy to be replacing it with this. I'm just gonna try and adjust this microphone. This is right up against my chin. I'm really hoping that this microphone setup works because that is so much better than having a flipping wire that comes into the helmet and oh, the fiddle and the faff with that was too much for me, too much. So, and in my inside pocket here, I have my DJI Osmo Pocket 3. So as it stands, with just the stuff that I've got on my bike at the moment, I've got the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 in my pocket. That is a 4K camera. I've got the Action 4, which is a 4K camera. I've got the Insta360, which is a 4K camera. And I've got my... I've got my telephone, which is a 4K camera. How many 4K cameras do you need? I don't know. That seems a bit excessive, doesn't it? Don't you think? I'm really excited about this Action 4, actually. And I'll show you one of the things that I like about it the most and what was one of the most annoying things with the GoPro. It has to do with the mount. So this, the Action has got a, a magnetic mount system, which just makes life so much easier when you, you want to take it off and shove it in your pocket. Let's see what that sounds like now. Is it picking up my voice even though we've probably got an unbelievable amount of wind noise coming through now? We'll see. If this works, going kind of 65, 70 miles an hour, then I've literally hit the home run when it comes to finding a system that works for having some vlog type stuff while I'm riding. So riding through the little village of Flaxporton, I'm only doing 30 miles an hour at the moment, so this is probably perfect for being able to talk and ride at the same time, I imagine. I did find that when I was on the ride, the long ride last summer, that the stuff where I spoke as I was riding, kind of motor vlogging type stuff, it worked just fine at the kind of 30 mile an hour, 30, 40 odd mile an hour range. But as soon as I got up to kind of 60, 70 mile an hour, it started to pop like crazy. It was like, just did not do well with that kind of speed, wind noise, etc. Hopefully this can be a solution to all my moto vlogging issues. I think I'm going to pull in down here and tighten up these mounts a little bit because everything seems to be moving about a little bit. So 
seems to constantly want to move about this thing, so you're always afraid to over tighten them, aren't you? Because you think I'm going to break something if I over tighten that, but you don't really want it moving about. Okay, let's turn the camera right round, face me. So, this looks awesome. Obviously, I've got the microphone in my helmet, tucked in right under here. Um, and it looks like it's peaking pretty badly, so there's some settings that I need to change probably. It seems like an awesome bit of kit actually. I've got both the cameras rolling right now. That looks really, really vivid actually. The colours on the Action 4 look really, really vivid, which is okay, but um, you don't want them too crispy. Let's get down to the bike now, shall we? Have a cup of coffee. Oh yeah, here we go. I'm gonna join these boys. Do you overtake in these situations or not? I've clearly hit a group of uh, motorcycles. Very cool. Let's join them. I'm pretty sure that they don't want me to be amongst their gang. Doesn't really look right. But here I am. There's some fat Harley Davidsons right here. I'm not used to riding in a group. So we'll see how this goes. definitely in a motorcycle gang. Maybe I'll get down there and they'll accept me into their ranks. I don't think so. What, what the motorcycle gangs do if you ride out with them and you're not supposed to ride out with them. Hello there. I'm going this way because I don't think I'm supposed to be part of that crew. And they all just went through a red light and I just followed them through. Oh dear, that doesn't look right, does it? Someone set fire to something. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Just gonna get myself parked up down here. All right, well, here we are. Just a few bikes. Nice, let's go take a look, shall we? Look at that, that just looks so mean. Look, the Kickstarter on that as well. Love it. Gotta admit, I've always had a soft spot for these Z900s. That's one of the newer ones, but they've managed to keep the styling, like. Love it. There's one of the originals. Double overhead camshaft on that. That just looks awesome. That is so well looked after. Awesome, absolutely gorgeous. So I think I'm gonna go and get myself a cup of coffee or something, I think. It would be nice if it wasn't so windy today. Would have been a nicer ride, but, oh yeah, coffee time, isn't it? Definitely. Just look at that thing. That's ridiculous. Looks like it's leaking something, but I'm sure it's alright. And that is a six-cylinder bike. 
That's a beauty. I bet that's smooth. Six cylinders. Balancing the carbs on six cylinders, what a nightmare. To be honest, I quite rarely see any Thunderbirds. Doesn't seem to be that many around. Don't know why. Uh, maybe they were just never really that popular, I'm not sure. But it's uh, certainly a bike that, that people love when they have it. Man, it's a windy one today. Really windy. Yeah, there isn't that many of them around, but this is basically exactly the same as a Thunderbird, but it's called the Legend. I don't actually know the difference. I don't think there is any difference, actually. But uh, it's the same engine, for sure. Be interesting to know what the difference is. Anyone knows, they should tell me, because that's always confused me a bit. Looks the same, pretty much. These old RD350s, now they fetch a pretty penny now, these ones. I do like them, they remind me of being a kid because a guy that I knew had one of these. And it was like, it went very, very fast for what it was. But yeah, this one's in nice nick as well. That's, they're worth a lot of money these days, these RD350s. It is the most windiest of days in Western. The sand is blowing up from the beach and just kind of hitting me like little bullets in the face. Oh man, gotta get out of this. This is nasty. I was just gonna get a coffee and I ended up getting some chips as well. Always feel a bit guilty with grubby chips, you know. Well, it's just a little flying visit down to the Western Bike Night. I actually think I'm gonna head home now, find my bike right there. There's the faithful Thunderbird with sand on the tank, sand everywhere. I'm gonna hit the road, go home. I don't think it's very late either. What is it? Half past seven. Go home, see Lillian, watch some TV, chill out for a bit. I think I might need some fuel. Head home. There she is. On her hair, she looks great. You're looking good, babes. No, it's not ginger. That's that's a beautiful blonde. Not that there's anything wrong with ginger, you know. Ginger's good.